going on guys? I uh, hope you stick around for the video. I've got two knives that I'm going to talk about and I'll give you the specs. This is my first initial look at them. One is the HK or HNK that can be found on the Benchmade website for under $40. And the next one is a bird knife that can be found on the Spyderco website. You know, bird is owned by Spyderco. And that's also for under $40. All right, guys, stick around for the specs. We'll talk to you later. What's going on, guys? I got two knife reviews for you. I want to try to keep this to under 10 minutes like I normally do. Um, two knives, two very different knives that can be used for very different purposes. I have the bird knife. It's the bird wings, BY20, GP, and S. It goes by bird wings knife and it's got two different blades on it which makes it pretty unique and we'll get into some of the details about that one in a second second knife I'm going to talk about is the 442 Pika it's made by H&K but under Benchmade so if you go to the Benchmade site you better find uh, that H&K Pika 2 or it's referred to as 14402. Now that H&K knife, it, it'll run you anywhere from 30 to $45, depending on where you buy that. And the bird knife will run you about $28. Again, it depends on where you get it at. If you get it off Amazon, of course, they're going to be cheaper. Or off eBay, uh, they will be cheaper. Let me go ahead and move this bird knife out to the side. We'll go ahead and we'll take a good look at this HK Pika 2. As you can see, it's a very good knife. It's got a combo edge on it. Uh, I really do like uh, the handle. Give you a good look at that. And the liner is very nice. And again, the blade is uh, it's got dual edge blades. Triple point serrations. Very nice. You see the HK logo on there as well. Now again, I, like I said, um, you can get this at the uh, or on uh, the Benchmade website. Okay, those ha the uh, handle is glass filled nylon. It's got dual stainless steel liners, as you can see. I hope you can see. It's got ambidextrous thumb studs here, right here, and then on the other side. It's got a four pocket clip on it, so. You can uh, go ahead and change the clip out at either of these points, one, two. Then on the other side, you got three and four, which is very nice. Um, you can adjust it so you can have a deeper fit in your pocket where you're left or right-handed. Okay, blade length on this is 3.50 inches. The thickness is 0 0.118 inches. And the handle, the handle thickness is 0 0.5 or 450 inches. Blade hardness, for some of you that matters, it uh, should matter to all of us, it's 5860HRC. The weight is coming in at 3.74 ounces. Overall length is 8.32 inches. And when it's closed, it's 4.82. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now, as you can see, it's, it's a lockback style, so you press the back, or on this knife, it's towards the middle. And that'll go ahead and allow you to close it. It's not really a fast opening knife. Um, this is my first look at it, but I played around with it and it's pretty stiff. Um, I don't know if if it's just gonna take time or, or what. But as you can see, it doesn't really open uh, all that fast. Let's see, let's get into some more of the specs here real quick. We already went over that, uh, that clip on it, reversible, four way which is very nice and uh, you know that's pretty much it for as far as the uh, specs on this knife this is a uh, supposed to be a tactical tactical knife tactical lock back style knife looks pretty good um, like I said I really like that glass filled nylon handle on it this is very nice. I like the design. 
and really it's a good fit for your hand you got some jumping here up top which gives you a good grip you know it's not going to go anywhere when you are uh, holding it, actually doing doing work with it or whatever um, also back here got a little hole here you can go ahead and put a lanyard through it to secure it and that's pretty much it guys that's the uh, the HK Pika 2 14 Zero two. Our second knife we're going to talk about is this bird knife, and as you can see, it's pretty unique just by looking at it. It's actually two knives. One is a plain edge. One is has some serrations on it, and it's more of a uh, saw. You can look at uh, check out the liner locks here. There's actually two of them, one here and one here. Go ahead and close it for you. That's what it looks like closed. It's got a pretty nice uh, belt clip on it, or clip, and it is reversible four way again one, two, and three, four. Let me sit it down. Let's talk about the specs real quick. The, uh, let me go ahead and open it back up. This is made out of eight. CR 13 MOV, which is a uh, Chinese variant, still similar to OS 8, but it's very cheap. One of the cheapest uh, materials you can uh, make this out of. Cheapest steels. Okay, uh, as you just saw, each blade locks independently of its own. So at, if I close this side, it's locked. It's, in, it's an independent locking mechanism. When I open it, it independently locks on this side. Same with the uh, the blade on on this side. Now I've done some tests with this knife. The blade is is average. It's not a sharp. It's not that sharp uh, out of the box. But um, no, it's not bad either. For what you're uh, what you're paying. It's got G10 handle handles on it, which is very very good. I love G10. It's one of my favorite materials. I even like G10 more than a glass filled nylon. Very good uh, for your gripping and uh, you know so that you don't have any slippage when you're trying to do work or things like that. Uh, it's got a hollow ground blades as I just showed you and again that stainless steel clip, four way clip. Okay let's talk about some uh, more of the specs here. 3.38 inches closed. We talked about the blade material already. 8CR 13 MOV. The thickness is 0 0.125. That's on both of the blades. Now, the closed length is 4.75 inches. 4.75 inches right here when it's closed. 4.75 in inches. The blade length, um, which I mistakenly said. Uh, is 3.38 inches. So 3.38 inches is the blade, or both blades, each one, and 4.75 is when it's closed. When both blades are open, it becomes an 8 inch uh, knife, pretty much. From here all the way to the end is 8 inches. And the weight is 5.4 inches. So that's pretty much it guys. That is the uh the bird wings knife. BY20G P and S and the HK1402 Pika 2. And one thing I forgot to mention about the HK was the kind of steel it's made out of, which is 9 CR13 stainless steel. Okay. So that is pretty much it guys. This is my first look at the HK 14402 Pika and the Bird Wings Knife BY20 GPNS. Guys, if you got any questions, let me know. If you're using these knives, uh, let, me, let me know how they're uh, working out for you. Again, this is the first look. I'm going to test them here in Afghanistan in the field. We'll see how they do, guys. I'll talk to you later.